Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I personally wrestle with with regard to the faith, and today we'll be addressing the question, when is it all right to expose a person for evil doing? This is a topic that we dealt with before, but it's good to address it more directly. There are two things to take into consideration in a discussion like this. The reasons we have for exposing past crimes, and the harm that a person can suffer if their reputation is seriously damaged. There's no question that the ruining of a person's reputation can also ruin their life. It can make it harder, if not impossible, for them to make friends and find work, which can be a terrible thing to wrestle with. Jean Valjean of Les Miserables is an excellent example from literature of how this can happen to a person and how crushingly hard and hopeless it can make their life. Even when the facts about a person's crimes are true, as in the case of Valjean, it can lead to people making false assumptions about them, which hurt them much more than is needed. But surely there are times when revealing the truth about evil crimes is morally fine, right? Yes, of course there are, and the Catechism outlines what those circumstances are. The Catechism refers to revealing true information about a person's faults or failings as detraction, in paragraph 2477, but only if he or she doesn't have objectively valid reason to reveal those. So what is an objectively valid reason? An objective reason is one that's based on more than just personal concerns or feelings, a wish to protect people from future injustice or harm, a love of authentic justice, or a concern for the salvation of souls are all objective reasons none of which would have applied in Valjean's case because he was no threat to anybody's body or soul, and his act was not a crime in the eyes of the church, so it couldn't be justly punished. Valid reasons are logical reasons that hold up and make sense. Again, to reveal that a person has committed crimes in an effort to prevent further people from being harmed by them, or to try to see justice done, is a valid reason to reveal the truth, but only if your plan in revealing this truth makes some sense. We shouldn't try to harm someone's reputation out of a desire for revenge or personal satisfaction. However, there are many good reasons to tell people when a grave injustice has been done, provided that your real goal is to see the injustice reduced or corrected, and not just because your feelings were hurt. If, however, it's just a personal slight where someone has offended or hurt you personally, but not in any actually unjust way, and your only reason for revealing that information is because you're angry at them or you want to make them sorry for what they did, take a step back and think again. Some things aren't worth hurting a person's reputation over, and in those kinds of situations, we shouldn't always reveal what a person has done. Next, is there any good reason to think we should prefer to be sweet? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.